you a little bit about Technology Will Save Us. We're a DIY gadget company. So we make DIY gadgets to help people make, play, code, and invent using technology. Um, all of our kits are designed around everyday life themes like gardening, cycling, and gaming because we think people learn more when they care about what they're going to make. Um, and our focus is really on instigating 21st century learning. And we define 21st century learning as happening around the kitchen table and in the classroom. We also think that it's both hardware and software, which means it's both online and offline. Um, so that creates really interesting opportunities for us as far as product development, both online products and offline products, and how those interact and connect together. Global markets are obviously really important to us. Um, from the beginning of the business, we've been selling pretty much 50% in the US and 50% in the UK, and obviously Europe makes up a portion of that as well. Um, I think the thing that's really interesting as we grow and scale and sell more product is maturity of different markets. So for us, the maker movement, something that's really important to us and really important to the community that we've kind of served to begin with, um, is much more mature in the US than it is in the UK. So the opportunities to sell are great. Um, there's a lot of interest, there's a lot more understanding of the products and services that we're creating. However, we're based in the UK and we want to grow a business in the UK. We like being an East London business. We have a great community, a lot of support. It's exciting for us because of the changes in curriculum in the UK. So for us, how do we navigate that real opportunity that we see in the US from a sales perspective with the desire to create real impact in the place that we've started from and where we see a real need as far as education. Um, so it's kind of balancing the demand that we see the opportunities with kind of the desire to kind of not just jump and not just become a US business but to kind of grow ourselves in the UK as well. So pain points that we feel going internationally are, there's lots of them. Um, I think the two that come to mind are the most kind of, um, uh, kind of painful at the moment are things like customs. So our first big retail account, we send a huge shipment to the US and it gets stuck in customs because the customs code has changed the day before. How are we, as a small business of 20 people, we weren't even 20 at that time, navigating things like customs is, it's a minefield of complexity and thank goodness our sales manager is incredibly on it, incredibly entrepreneurial, you know, gets on the phone, finds another custom code that fits it within 24 hours so that we can rectify the situation. He has a great relationship with our retailer, that also helps, but that's, you know, another thing that a small business doesn't need to have to deal with. Um, so customs is a huge um, minefield and obviously that's just one territory. Um, then there are other things like um, regulations and certifications. So our business, we're particularly dealing with things like electronics um, and education. And those two things married create a whole collection of challenges, particularly around ele electronics is um, regulations in different countries, different territories, and then kind of global regulations about particular electronics that can or cannot be certified. Um, and how do we again kind of mitigate and navigate that as this kind of global electronics kind of community is shifting and changing and we're using those components to kind of make up our product in a very localized way. How do we navigate those regulations and make sure that we're always on top of the certifications that we need to have in order to be selling in the, the places that we're selling. So those two areas are really complex. Um, and government or organizations or even advisory um, organizations being able to give us even just top level kind of advice on what we should be looking out for as we reach these different scales would be really, really helpful.